All right, here's the plug for the uh, electronic water pump. So you can see next to each one of the prongs there, there's a number. At the top left is one, top right it says three, bottom right is four, bottom left is two. Um, so one and three are 12 volt, and two is the signal for the BSD, it's like seven and a half volts and then four is a ground. So if you want to check um, your system in the car, uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, put our voltmeter on this plug. Right now the, the key is on in the ignition position so there's power to this, but um, one and three are 12 volt and I'm not sure which one I don't remember offhand, but one of those will be constant 12 volt with ignition on or off. And then the other one will get power once the key is turned on. And I believe there's always 7.5 volt constant on two, but then it varies um, based on the signal from the computer to tell the, the pump what speed to, to spin at. So I'll just show you how you can test this on the car. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to just check ground and trying to do this again like everyone with one hand. So I like using these, these are binder ring clips that you put in paper in a three hole binder and then you bend them back to keep your paper together, but they make good for probing um, these time, type of flat um, plugs. So this is going into four and again, one hand. That didn't work out. Let's try another one. <laughs> Anyways, get that in there. Um, got my multimeter tester, multimeter set up here um, for continuity. So, too many wires in my way. So we're going to simply ground out this to the block so I got my multimeter set up here I'm attached to the ground on number four and then I'm taking the other probe and I'm just going to put it up against the block uh, right here so I'm just going to touch it back and forth and then you'll see the gauge so my ground I'm getting I got a good ground through my plug so that checks out so then the same thing I'm gonna do with checking the others for power now so I'm just going going to check for 12 volt so now I'm going to switch my meter over to DC volts so I'm on DC volts, blurry, nothing, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just grounding this out to the block, and I get my 12 volt signal. So same thing, that's plug uh, number three, and I'm just grounding it out to create the circuit, and I've got 12 volt, and then likewise I will do the same on number one. No reading, round it out to the block, and I don't have a reading, so maybe my key's not on. Let me go check my key. Okay, key back on, or is on. So there, so it looks like one is powered by the key, three is a constant 12. So again, I'm just touching, grounding this out. Got the probe on three, or one, I'm sorry, and grounding out the block. Got 12 volt with ignition on. So now we'll go look for our seven and a half volts. 
the BSD signal. Sorry. Try to get everything going here. So I'm in number two. And zero voltage. And I'm grinding, grounding it out to the block. And I'm getting my around seven and a half volts. That's a variable from for the BSD signal. So anyways, to me, this is a good indicator that my signal is getting through the wiring harness and everything is functioning that way. So now I will test or bench test the pump just to see if it'll it'll spin. Okay, here's the motor on the bench and just to show you how to bench test this. Now this won't show you how the variable speed it, but it'll at least let you know if your pump is working or not working. The problem with this pump was it was inoperable. You could hear it just clicking, uh, like it was trying to go, trying to go, but it would never fully cycle or, or come on consistently. So that's why I removed it. So what I'm doing is I'm just I'm tapping into both of the 12 volt pins. So again, that's one and three. I'm not worrying about the BSD signal, the seven and a half volt, which is on two, and then it's just grounded out. And then I'm just tying it into a 12 volt source um, to energize it. So what I notice is this, it, something's wrong with the motor because it won't start, it'll, it'll tempt. Now you have to watch them. You can hear it moving. It tries to go. If I get it right, it'll actually start spinning here. It's like trying to start a car. Well, I'm having trouble getting it. It'll ramp up sometimes. There we go. So, not sounding the greatest. Definitely an issue with the pump. Yeah, it's dry, but it's shot anyway, so. But, this will give you an idea you can hear it just wants to anyways you get the idea this thing should ramp right up. Anyways, you get the idea. It's not going. Anyways, so again, quick way to bench test it. Put some 12 volt to your pins. These are just alligator clipped in here. So again, one and three are positive, four is your ground. Just make connections to your pins in there. Um, put some 12 volt power to that and that motor should spin it shouldn't hesitate like what I'm experiencing right here so that's a, a simple bench test to let you know if this is remotely uh, working at all and then my understanding is is that seven and a half volt varies and it will tell um, the motor what percentage to run at so it'll ramp up or down based on what the uh, temperature reading it gets from the motor and it'll tell it to if it's hot, it'll speed up more, and if it doesn't need the call, then it won't spin as fast. So, 
Um, anyways, that's a quick, easy way to test the, the car and then the pump as well. So this pump, to my mind, is shot. So I'm getting ready to put another one in, but I thought before I did all that, I'd just share with you what I've learned on this so that if you're wondering how to test yours, this will give you an idea. Um, if you get this out of your car um, and you want to test your own before you buy another one, that's a good test. Now, do keep in mind that they say that not to run these things dry. So if, if your pump is remotely good and it, and it spins up, I wouldn't run it too long um, dry because you can burn out the impeller in here and then you're going to ruin your motor. So don't run it for very long just run it if it ramps up then i think you're you're good to go but otherwise if it hesitates doesn't want to start or it it howls when it does run then i would say you got a bad motor